welcome to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel kindly click on subscribe button for more videos today we have this challenge this is exponential equation we are asked to find the value of x we have 2 raised to the power x plus 4 raised to the power x to be equal to 8 raised to the power x and we are asked to look for the value of x let's get started we have solution Let's rewrite our question. We have 2 raised to the power of x plus 4 raised to the power of x to be equal to 8 raised to the power of x. So let's rewrite 4 raised to the power of x and 8 raised to the power of x so that they will have the same base with 2 raised to the power of x. So we'll be having 2 raised to the power of x plus 2 raised to the power of 2. Everything raised to the power of x to be equal to 2 raised to the power of 3, everything raised to the power of x. With this, don't forget the principles that says whenever you have a raised to the power m, everything raised to the power n, can simply be written as a raised to the power of n, everything raised to the power of m. Let's apply that to this and this. So we'll be having 2 raised to the power of x plus 2 raised to the power of x, everything squared. Will now be equal to 2 raised to the power of x, everything raised to the power of 3. So let's represent less q to be equal to 2 into the power of x. Then we now substitute for the value of q whenever you, we have 2 raised to the power of x. So let's go. We we'll have q plus q square now we got to now we got to q raised to the power of 3 so let's rearrange this so we'll be having q raised to the power of 3 minus q square minus q everything to be got to 0 so since q is common to the three variables let's just factor out q so we'll be having q into bracket q square minus q minus 1 to be equal to 0 therefore first case q will be equal to 0 so the first case our q using product to q will be equal to what 0 and i will equate q square minus q minus 1 to be equal to 0 as well therefore i will be having second case q square minus q minus 1 to be equal to 0. So with this, I can easily apply, this is quadratic equation. So I would like to apply quadratic formula to get rid of these values. So I will be saying my q to be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So once I read this stage, don't forget, you need to get the value of a, B, and C. After getting the value of A, B, and C, I realize that my A is equal to 1, B is equal to minus 1, and C is equal to minus 1 from here. So once I insert the values, so I will have to so my Q will be equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 4 divided by 2 so therefore my q will now be equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2 so once you understand it up to this stage it's easy and straightforward you just need to recall so we need to recall from here that q is equal to 2 raised to power x we need to recall that q is equal to 2 raised to power x so recall that q is equal to 2 raised to the power of x. So we thereby substitute for 2 raised to the power x instead of this q. So we'll be having 2 raised to the power of x will now be equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2. So once you understand it up to this stage, so I can easily write this as 2 
this power of x we got one plus square root of five divided by two so we are asked to find the value of x not the value of two raised to the power x so i can easily apply my natural log logarithm here by applying the lean to both left and left side and right side so from here i will be having so now we are having two raised to the power of x to be equal to one plus square root of five divided by two so i have to apply lean to both left and right hand side so i'll be having lean of two raised to the power x to be equal to lean of one plus square root of five one plus square root of five divided by two yes so once you understand it up to this stage according to the rule of log rhythm if you have According to rule of lean, if you have lean of a, a, lean of a raised to power, lean of a raised to power b, you can see it, it can be be written as b lean of a, b lean of a. So with this, so I will be having x lean of two. To be equal to ln of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. So according to the rule of ln, so I can easily write my right hand side to be x ln of 2 to be equal to ln of 1 plus square root of 5 minus ln of 2. Yes, I change this long division to minus. So here, I can easily divide through by lean of x so i'll be having x then by lean of two so we got to lean of one plus five minus lean of two they are that by lean of two they are that by lean of two so lean of two cancel lean of two our x so we got to lean of one plus square root of five minus lean of two divided by Lane of 2. So here, if you use calculator to look for the value of lane of 1 plus uh, square root of 5 minus lane of 2 divided by lane of 2 and you substitute the value into this uh, expression that is 2 raised per x plus 4 raised per x to be equal to 8 raised per x it will give you the correct answer using uh, the this part in the value of x that is the lean of 1 plus square root of x minus lean of 2 divided by lean of 2 thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to share this video to your friends your brothers your sisters thank you for watching